today uh, we have female drivers at the UN and since the UN is promoting gender equality as one of the sustainable development goals, uh, we're trying to reach a gender, equal, gender parity of 50-50 by 2030. And these women here are the great examples of the empowerment of women and they are the pioneers of this field also. So I really was eager to meet you, and uh, it's my great pleasure to meet you. So yeah, uh, could you please introduce yourself? Okay, can I start? Sure. Uh, my name is Mariana Joseph Tarimo. I'm from Kilimanjaro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, working with UN Women in Tanzania. Yes. Okay, and I am Mariana Alexandra Msale. Uh, working for United Nations Women Tanzania as a female driver. All right, Thank so you. you both have name of Mariana, so yes, you both have the same <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> so do you have to be Mariana to be a driver? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so it sounds good. So since when have you, have you worked uh, for the UN um, or as a driver? I started working at the UN Women. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one year so far. Mm -hmm. I have only one year so far. Okay. Yes, I just finished one year in October. Uh -huh. Yes. And could you tell me how did you start? Like how how did you become a driver? Well, I actually applied several times uh -huh. to get a job at the United Nations. Uh -huh. I as tried, a driver. Yes, as a driver. I tried more than five times. But I thank God eventually I got an email to invite me for the interview. So I came for the interview and I succeeded to get the job. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how it went. Okay, and mm -hmm. uh, for me it's a long. Uh, I was in Zanzibar for eight years uh, working with the UNDP, and through that it was good lesson and good achievement. So when I heard about you and women, I want to, you know, to change my career and to know what's going on about women, what's so important about women. So when I saw advertisement on the newspaper, I applied and thanks that I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I'm working, I'm driving a rep, a representative you and women in Tanzania. Yeah, so me and Mariana, we are enjoying our, yes. I can totally see that. So, well actually in Tanzania, I, can, I am kind of aware that uh, in this cultural context, it's not a very easy job to do here. It's a uh, driver, especially, it's considered to be a male job. And it's definitely still um, like stereotyped and preju prejudiced. So I believe that there have been some challenges um, in becoming a driver as a woman as well. Or even like um, while you are uh, being a driver here, there must have been some challenges. So could you uh, share some stories about that? Yeah. In our society here, people still think that to be a driver is a male work. They don't believe a woman can be a driver. So it's a bit challenge because some people are staring at us and some are there to ask us, hey, why are you a driver? Can't you do any other kind of job? Why are you a driver? I say, yes, I can be a driver. I love being a driver. I can drive. Why not? You can drive. Why can't I drive? So it's a bit challenge for us. But now people start to understand that everyone, even women, can do what they think is men's job. So we, we are doing it and we are doing it really well. Yes, mm -hmm. now they, they are accepting it. Mm -hmm. Sure, in, in small, I mean few percent, not that big percent. Some still think women cannot do better than men. Mm -hmm. But we are, trying them, we are trying to make them understand that we can also do that. Definitely. Yeah, they should never think of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
more challenge? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Like, <laughs> it, like in your daily life, yeah, it's any example? Sometimes it's a challenge that uh, I go late home. Although we have been paid overtime and what, but sometimes it's a risk too. For the secu security wise, and especially in Dar es Salaam, it's you know about the robbery, and so we have to be careful the roads, where to pass, where what to do, not to do at the night. You you, you drive a rape, you know, and as a representative, you know the the rules of so. And not only that, but the way as how my other colleague have said, men always they think they 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 do more than mm -hmm. us. But now we are, we want when we reach at twenty thirty, mm -hmm. we want them to know that we are equal. Mm -hmm. We can do more than. And you know, as even if you go around the along the road, you find those who are driving the cars careful. The the women because they scared to get accident they scared to you know but now we are we want to be there to show the society that women also we can as how our voice said or oh, what our <laughs> we have in our motto that women we can mm -hmm. but we don't we, we are not waiting until that people come and help us to to do what we are supposed to do ourselves we go there we risk ourselves mm -hmm. like how we drive we risk ourselves but we want to to show the the world that women we can there is no job only for a man mm -hmm. it's only that sorry to say this but it's only when we go to labor that's the only thing that for a woman <laughs> you know a but a men, men cannot do but mm -hmm. the rest Everything we do, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Definitely. So now then, um, how about your friends and family? Are they have they been supportive in your decisions, or like what, what do you say in general? Well, or has their perception perception changed like uh, as time goes by? Or could you share some? For me, I from my friends, my family, my relatives. I got big support from them. Oh, wow. Yes, they think positive of me. They trust me. They believe in me, and they are so proud of me for being a driver. Yes, so I'm very happy about that. Yes. There, 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 no one has come and tell me why are you doing that? Why? No, I can see people are proud of me. Like, wow, you you are driving this car to where to Kigoma? Wow, you know, it's like an inspiration to them. Perfect. So. It's really, really motivation. Mm -hmm. It's give me motivation to do my job better, better day by day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I keep on loving my job. That's yeah. amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Adding on that, mm -hmm. uh, the same applied to me. Wow. My brother taught me how to drive, wow. and he was so impressed when he heard about me that I'm working with United Nations. And also my family, my friends, they are so happy. Yeah, and when we go to the meeting, when you, you find those, I mean, even the other rapes or other colleague programs, operation, when they saw us, they say, ah, no, we want you in our organization, we want you in our organization. Because they, they, they think that this is the thing that, for a woman, for a woman to do this, you know, sometimes what, what when I go with do? my my rep at the meeting, he finds those males around me, and then one day she asked me, Mariana, are you married? Because when they comes outside, I saw you with those. I say no. As a driver, you know, you have to interrupt. Right. And when we interact with the people, is that the place that you get those information? What happened to mm. this? What's what happened on? to the? What is going on in this country? So we get a lot of information because we go around all the time. Wow. So it's give me more motivation mm -hmm. to do it and inspire me that aha and more confidence that I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can definitely see that.
Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you know the uh, gender equality and all all of this change actually starts from the small units like family mm-hmm. and friends and your your group of people that you're with. I can totally see that. So um, then, if you would like to see change in the society, I mean, you are already like um, getting part and going out as a driver, uh, but still there are some challenges left, and there are still more to do here yes. in the society, definitely. So, um, what would you like to see change in the society in Tanzania? Yeah, in our society, uh, yeah, yes. mm-hmm. especially men. They need to change their mind mm. of thinking about women. They need to see that women can do also. Women can actually do everything. They shouldn't discourage us by telling us you cannot do this. This can only be done by men. No, they should never say that. They should believe in us and encourage us. So men, I, I want to tell men to think that women can also do this. Women can bring changes into our society. Women can do wonders. So they should support us instead of discouraging us. Yes. That's all they need to know. Precisely. Yeah. Precisely. I mean, that, mm-hmm. You know, myself, I, I like to add. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, you know, changes started at home. Home mm-hmm. sit home mm-hmm. is where the changes start. Mm-hmm. If the, the children at the family see their parents fighting and you hear like father said i mean the husband tell the wife ah you know nothing yeah, you know eh? so when it started there those boys and girls when they're there I say mm-hmm. did you hear what daddy tell to tell mommy even you you know nothing you don't know you don't know anything they because they hear from mm-hmm. where from the family from the dad yeah. so if we want changes we have to start from there Home sweet home. Mm-hmm. I like to say that because home is the place where you have everything. Mm-hmm. So we start there. And then after that, you go to school, you go to the community, you go now until you go to the world. Right. But we have to start first at the home. from father and mother and now to go to the other place. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we need more training. As for myself, I need more about gender equality. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, to go, even there is a training, we want to, to attend other training, to see how we can change the society now to know that women we can. You know, as if we go as with Mariana around the Tanzania, to show them that we can, or we go, we, we arrange as a race, we go there, we invite women, we start small racing yeah, as, a good as, example. A, as a good example that we start and then we, we are there as a, as a who, like uh, you sit there and monitor, now we are watching because we know we, we, we go around and we know where they can stack, we know if someone who is they can do it more better. Mm-hmm. We take a rough road and take like a small race mm-hmm. to empower. If you want to be 50 50, and then we arrange another day for a race for a man, that's we want to see how they can, and then we compare. We this is the man, this is the, and then we know how we so say, ah, now we are going to, but we have to arrange something that it's. If we want to be 50-50, everything we do, even if it's in program or operation or outside there in the society, in the school, we want to show them that girls or boys, we can do this, this thing. We arrange something as a competition and you see, and always women, we beat the men, Mm -hmm. but they don't accept because they say, ah, no, you know. You did this. They they start bringing excuses. And then they say, ah, ah. Do you get this job? Ah, no. You you, you bribe something. You know, eh? As, as, they are not talking about money. Mm. They are talking about our... Mm, yeah. But we are not doing that. We get this job. Is our talent. We went for... And, for example, like uh, here, you United Nations, mm-hmm. security. They don't allow any driver to drive without them interview them practically. Mm. How will you self-defense? 
you know and they have those techniques if you don't know techniques you go and try self train driving so and also there's uh, like um, um, we need something to change mm. and competition you know competition bring things you 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 find you know you you go around my my other colleagues tell her she knows she she went around mm -hmm. the Tanzania even you maybe you went around mm -hmm. you see how those society the community you know if you go to, like uh, those Maasai place you find those girls they are still circumcised mm -hmm. you know these things mm -hmm. a lot of girls died because of that mm -hmm. so we need something. At least to go around and show that we feel something for women, mm -hmm. and if we know that if you educate only one woman, it's only like one hundred men that oh, you know, it's mm -hmm. a big. So if one man, one woman can do something, why don't we encourage them now? So to change the world, mm -hmm. and you know. Women, they are very creative. Mm -hmm. Everything is on women's hand. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you see a man succeed, there is a woman who is behind. Even mm -hmm. our president, if the woman is not there, she kneels down sometimes, she begs sometimes, she go to the community sometimes to find, she hear a lot, sometimes she carry. You know, women, we carry a lot in our, in our heart. You carry your kids, your husband, your, you, you don't have anything, but you try. You make sure that your family eats. But men, he can go around, he come home, nothing, and he look at you, he find food at home, he eats. But you can sacrifice yourself. You go there, you, you, you go, you, you find like a labor, you dig a house, I mean, you clean for someone, you go to the house, you wash, you do whatever you can do. You come home with a food or bread, and your kids eat something. But that is what if we want to reach 2030 with that mm -hmm. we have to start with the home right home. right yeah also like both genders need to take the yes. same responsibility mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right oh wow it's just like as i hear your stories i am so inspired i'm so <laughs> yeah, <my> job. <laughs> yeah definitely yeah yeah well thank you so much for sharing your stories and thank ideas you. and I, I believe that this can really the, the, be the first step to really change the world and yeah. definitely you guys are great examples and I'm so proud of you so please keep up the good work. Yeah, gender Thank you equality very and yeah, empowerment. We, we want this gender equality. to be 50-50. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We want to reach there. Yes, it's time to take action. Yeah, and our motto. Yeah, and all women should, should, think, should know that they can do they should never scare, they should never fear anything, they can do anything they want. Yes. Go catch up your dreams. As we do. And have confidence. And as we pray. do. Women, <laughs> we come. Yeah. Yes. Women, we come. Women, we yes. can. Women, we can. We are strong yes. drivers. Yes. Women drivers. We love our job. Yes. Big time. Strong. <laughs> <laughs>